Stacy and Dan. I'm just making this is Scott with Impact Latent SEO, making this quick video to kind of show you what I would do if you were to refer anybody. Um, I'm gonna be using a concrete contractor as an example, just because I'll show you what I went through with finding your guys' stuff. But usually I just start with their website. I talk about what would be beneficial for them. Um, it looks like this is a very. <coughs> I mean, you guys have a million referring pages and twenty thousand referring domains. It's a lot, so I'm gonna just kind of. The reason for it is a lot of the keywords that you guys are found for are like Amway, 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 or Spanish versions of Amway. So I'm gonna just start here. So just as an example, if you were Aloha con Concrete and Construction, I would say um, first off they should put those in. Anyway, um, so I usually go over their website, what's good about it, what needs improvements. Um, talk to concrete and salt making latent. Um, but the biggest thing that I usually start with for most websites is more content. Google loves to see content. You want to see 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage. And throughout that content, you want to be found for buyer intent uh, keywords. Uh, for example, like for this, uh, concrete contractor Salt Lake City is what I looked up. So um, the other thing that they could do is if you save images correctly, instead of it saying DL6, it could say, you know, Concrete Contractor Salt Lake or something along those lines because it counts behind the photo for you. And this is a tool I use called Arifs. This will give me your analytics and kind of show me what you're setting. Uh, the DR and UR is the strength and trust that Google has for a website. These are on a scale of 100 and you want those continuously moving up. Um, they're currently at 0 and 4 to the, due to their referring pages and domains, which are backlinks. And what a backlink is, it's when one website links to another website via clickable button or text. But not all backlinks are created equal, so you do want to make sure they're to stay relevant to your industry and location. And it looks like there's being, there, this particular website is being indexed for 31 keywords. And if we look at some of these, like <coughs> Concrete Contractor Salt Lake City, they're in the 11th position, so out of 40 people searching, they're only getting one person on their website roughly each and every month. Um, so yeah, they're only getting, you know, they're not getting too many because they have their name, which is, you know, searched 20 times. But it, these are the buyer intent keywords that I'm talking about, uh, service and a location. And so if you do look at a, you know, concrete contractor Salt Lake, uh, this right up here are paid for ads for Google. And this will always be on the top of any search unless people have their ads turned off. But for the most part, this is how you can make business really, really quickly. There's lots of different ways you can do that. Like, see how this is concrete. Um, this doesn't say any. Let's see, this is concrete. Uh, concrete. But none of them say Salt Lake. So if you could get, oh, right here, Salt Lake, sorry. But that's thumbtack. That doesn't count. Um, but if you could get a your ad groups, like for concrete, you could have stamped concrete, you could have concrete cutting, you could have concrete leveling, you could have, um, I forget the other ones off the top of my head, but all of those should be their own ad groups so that you want to theme them by, uh, or you want to group them by a theme so that each ad is particular to each individual um, keyword search. Um, and then it depends on uh, your landing page, usually you want something like a call to action, like your phone number, maybe a form submit, and then like what you do and where you do it, maybe an offer, you know, right here. And that should be kind of the, the whole landing page experience so that it's just contact you, maybe some trust factors and a few other things. But then you go into the Google business profile. For you guys, I don't think we could really do a Google business profile. I could be wrong, but uh, I just haven't seen one for, for the, your industry really. So there's lots of ways to get here, adding reviews, getting your name, address, and phone number in the exact same all across the internet is helpful because Google's like a big popularity contest. And then making sure to geotag and geolocate and brand photos weekly to show Google you're growing your business organically. And then that's how people, you know, on phones especially, they'll just call it right here. And between ads and the GBPs or Google Business Profiles, those, uh, about 60% of traffic stops right here. The rest get distributed amongst the websites. It looks like Jeff Dumas is the you know top competitor for Aloha. And if you look at their website, they don't have too much content on their homepage. 
So when you start to have more content, better buyer intent keywords, those authoritative backlinks and citations, you can start to outrank these guys. And just to kind of give you a glimpse, like these ones, you know, repair, cutting, lifting, leveling, these all are kind of similar, but at the same time, you could be ranking for each of these keywords. And it looks like there's about 1,400 searches just in Salt Lake each and every month for concrete. And so as you're um, ranking for these keywords, a percentage of these total volumes will start going to your website instead of your competitors. And then a percentage of the people going to your website will give you a call, and depending on your closing rate, we'll turn it to a customer. So that's kind of how I do it, and we'll talk more about it, but I wanted to make this before we went today. So look forward to seeing you both, and we'll talk to you soon.